The anointing is an empowerment to perform at a supernatural level to attain extraordinary results. That anything that comes against you is going to have to pay the price. That no weapon formed against me is going to prosper and every tongue that shall rise against me in judgment shall be condemned. And God said to them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, confirming the word with signs following. The mission of Bill Winston Ministries is to preach the gospel of the kingdom throughout the world and train believers how to live independently of the world's system and have dominion over it. Dr. Bill Winston is fulfilling the Great Commission and as a result, people are being empowered to walk in the plan and purpose that God has for their lives. Join us in the great things we are doing to change the world through the love of Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Believer's Walk of Faith. Hello, Bill Winston here, and welcome to the Believer's Walk of Faith, where we walk by faith and not by sight. God has made a way for all of us to prosper, whether it's your marriage, children, body, whether it's your finances, every prosperity, every area, God wants to increase in your life. He wants you to prosper. The way to do it is through His Word. So let's go right into it. Now, he is telling Abraham that anything that comes against you is going to have to pay the price. And I'm saying to you that this same thing goes for me. That no weapon formed against me is going to prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against me in judgment shall be condemned. Now look what happened to Abraham. Let's go on down in chapter 12 now. And let's go on down and see as Abraham started his journey. Because in verse 4, it says, and Abraham departed. All right, so as we go on down here, Genesis chapter 12 and verse 14. And look what he says here. He says, and it came to pass that when Abraham was come into Egypt, the Egyptians beheld the woman that she was very fair. And the princes also, the leaders of Pharaoh, saw her and then commended her before Pharaoh. Pharaoh, there's a good looking woman out there somewhere. And the woman was taken into Pharaoh's house. And he entreated Abram well for her sake. And he had sheep and oxen and asses and men servants and maid servants and she asses and camels. And the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with a great plague because of Sarai, Abram's wife. Now here is Pharaoh. He is not, this, this, this deed that he's doing here is not something that God sanctions. And so now, because of Abraham's faith in following God, based on God's covenant promise to him, now God is going to protect Abraham. And not only Abraham, but his family and his seed, Lord have mercy. So now, here is Pharaoh. All of a sudden, Pharaoh is being plagued. Now Pharaoh woke up, he said, what is this you have done to me? And, 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 uh, and had it so that uh, Abraham, he put Abraham out, told him, take all the stuff you want and let's get on out of the country. And look what Abraham had when he came out. This is found in Genesis chapter 13 and verse one. And he said, and Abraham went out of the Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had and lot with him unto the south. And Abram was very rich, very rich, say me too, in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Now, because he had to put it down there because some people think, well, he's spiritually rich. No, no, he had moolah, he had, he had things, he had stuff, okay? No, 
This is interesting because I'm just going to give you revelation that I get. Okay, I'm going to teach you from that. Over in Genesis chapter 13, it's kind of interesting here that he said in verse 17, and the Lord plagued Pharaoh's house. And then he said this, because of Sarah, his wife. And Pharaoh called Abraham and said, what is this that thou hast done unto me? Why didst thou not, not tell me that she was your wife? Why saidest thou she is my sister? So I might have taken her to me to wife. Now therefore behold thy wife. Take her and get out of here. No, I don't. And go thy way. And Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him. Now, how did he know that that was because of Abraham's wife? Now, I, 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 you know, I'm just kind of putting myself in that situation that maybe his sorceress told him. Said, this thing is, this thing is, this, this is not. No, no. I'm, can I take you to a depth that, that I'm, I'm at? <laughs> he knew that this was not coming from the snakes that he worshipped. He knew this. He knew this. This wasn't some evil somebody plaguing him. Because they couldn't. Or they wouldn't. And if you know anything about the pharaohs, they had a snake on the, on the thing and symbolizing, you know, their, well, back in the garden, really. <laughs> but my point to you is, is even back there, he was spiritually sensitive enough to know that this shouldn't happen to him. Y'all with me? Now I'm saying this because you, you, because you got born again, you're going to be, well, let's go. Let's go to scripture first. Let's go to John chapter 14, verse 14. And look what he says here. He says, if you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Who's talking here? Say it loud. Jesus. Jesus. All right. Next verse. If you love me, keep my commandments. Next verse. I will pray the father and he'll give you another who? Comforter. That he may abide with you. How long? Forever. Who is the comforter? The Holy Spirit. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be what? In you. So, and I will not leave you comfortless, and I'll come to you. Now, who was leading the disciples and taking them and teaching them? Who was that? Jesus. Jesus. Now he's saying, you're going to get another teacher. And church, I'm going to the Father and send you back another teacher. It's going to be the Holy Ghost. Now he's going to teach you some things. So you're in here and you're being taught by the anointing of God. Because the anointing of God is what God gives you to do God's work. That he doesn't want you to preach without that anointing. He doesn't want you to, to do anything as a believer without the anointing of God. Because it's going to give you extraordinary results. Now he goes to John chapter 17. And in John chapter 17, starting at verse 14, he says, I've given them thy word and the world has hated them because they are not of the world. Say, I'm not of the world. No. Say, I'm in the world. Not of the world. He said, even as I'm not of the world, watch this, I pray not that you should take them out of the world. So he's not praying that you leave here. But that thou should keep them from the evil. 
I call it diplomatic immunity. I'm saying that Satan cannot touch you with evil. Didn't I say that? You know, I used to pray a wrong prayer. I said, every virus and disease and germ that touches my body dies instantly. Well, that ain't the scriptures. The scripture says, no evil shall befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your door. It didn't say it's going to touch you. See, I'm praying the wrong prayer. No wonder I'm coming down with some sniffles. See, I'm praying the wrong prayer, see? And I'm just saying, just a little slip of the tongue, you can open up the door for Satan to do things that Satan had, had not had authority to do. That's the wrong group, I'll wait on the next group. But he, this is what I'm saying. All right, now, I'm saying to you that Pharaoh had a spiritual sensitivity or his sorcerers that they sensed that this was a work of the God of Abraham. Well, praise the Lord. I trust that you are blessed by today's message. Now, let me share with you a powerful point you want to remember. According to the Word of God, now the Word of God tells us what's true. God, I don't care what you see. The Word tells us what's true. You are unstoppable. Somebody told me, well, pastor, they don't want you to buy that, that shopping mall because they don't want, you know, a, a minority to have so forth. What does, difference does that make? I, I'm a son of God. I'm a child of the living God. You are unstoppable. You are untouchable. No weapon, the Bible says, formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that comes up against you shall be condemned. Praise God. So that makes you uncursable. You are unstoppable, untouchable, and uncursable. You need to say that three or four times. Get it down in your system. And you're not disadvantaged. You are a child of the living God. Praise God. Our announcer is going to give you some important information on how you can order this powerful set of teachings, and I'll be right back. Jesus died to provide you with the very best of everything. Learn how to desire and receive His best in your life. To order your copy of this powerful message on CD or MP3, on DVD or MP4, Contact us online at BillWinston.org. You can also call us at 1-800-711-9327. Well, this is Bill Winston saying we love you. And until next time, keep walking.